Hi guys, this is the Ego Power two stage snowblower. It comes with two 7.5 amp hour 56 volt arc lithium batteries. They weigh 6.4 pounds each. They can be charged in the dual port charger that weighs 5.85 pounds. These are supposed to be the longest running and most powerful batteries of any snowblower on the market. There's no prime, choke, and pull like gas snowblowers. There's just one button that you press, hold down the handles, and go. It is self-propelled, so you don't have to put any effort into pushing it. The clearing width is 24 inches, and it can handle up to 20 inches of snow. On one charge, Ego says this unit can clear an 18-car driveway when moving 8 inches of medium-density snow. It has a high-efficiency brushless motor. There are two sets of LED lights, side lights up here, and headlights down here. They draw little power. Press this button once to turn all the lights on, and twice to turn off the side lights. Three times to turn off all the lights. Shoot direction can be controlled here with the shoot rotation handle. There's a 200 degree arc. Move the shoot deflector up or down to adjust the throwing distance of the snowblower. Now this unit will throw snow 50 feet, which is fine for those of you with a lot of space. With my little suburban New Jersey house, I have to be careful not to throw snow into my neighbor's yard or on him while he's shoveling. The LED indicator shows the charge level of the battery pack. Green means the unit is working properly and the battery has at least 15% charge left. Flashing red means charge the battery. There are 15 inch wheels, the steel auger. There's a cleaning tool that snaps in here. Turn the unit off and use this to clear snow if the auger gets jammed with snow. The scraper bar, skid shoe. Here's some pretty bad pictures of it being loaded onto a pickup truck from the hardware store. They wouldn't deliver it because I was outside their delivery area. It wasn't going to fit into my sedan. If you have an SUV or a minivan, the box should fit. The snowblower weighs 143 pounds without the battery pack. With the two batteries and charger, the total weight is 162 pounds. I bought the snowblower with the two batteries and charger inside the box. Sorry I didn't show you how to assemble this, but it takes only 15 minutes. It was easy. A few days before the first snow, the snowblower was assembled and I put the batteries to charge. I got off to a disappointing start with this Ego because one of the batteries was dead on arrival. It's red and it's dead. I called Ego and they said they would send another battery, but it would take 10 days. Seriously, 10 days for one battery to be shipped from Ohio to New Jersey. That's completely unacceptable for a snowblower that cost $1,300. I wasn't happy about that, especially because it was supposed to snow the next day. Ego really needs to check their batteries before selling them. When you first get the battery, it'll be partially charged. Make sure to fully charge it before using. There are five LED indicators on the battery. Press the power button in the middle to see how much charge is left. One LED green means there's 10 to 20% charge, and each LED green goes up by 20%. Charging the battery takes about 120 minutes, and optimal charging temperature is 41 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. To put the charged batteries in, open the cover, push the battery in until you hear a click. The other one. Close the cover. To remove the battery after you're done, press the battery release button and pull up the battery. To turn this Ego on, press the green button in the middle for a second and the LED will blink green. While the LED is blinking, press down the auger switch trigger on the right to turn the snowblower on. If the LED is not blinking, the auger is not going to turn on. Then hold down the self-propel trigger on the left to move forward. Move the lever forward to go faster and backward to go slower. The self-propel system will work whether the auger is on or off. So if you just want to move the snowblower without blowing snow, press down the self-propel trigger only and it will move. To stop, let go of the trigger. To go in reverse, First move the lever to reverse in orange and press down the self-propel trigger. There's only one speed in reverse. You can't control it, which is a good thing because you might forget you're in reverse when you turn the auger on. So I decided to go ahead and use the unit with just one battery because, well, I bought a snowblower and it snowed. I wanted to try it out because it's just sitting in the garage doing nothing. I did my four car driveway, my sidewalk, my neighbors under the driveway, 
and three other neighbors' sidewalks on one charge with one battery, which is impressive. The snow was powdery and just a few inches. It was an above freezing day, the sun was shining, and there was no wind. So, ideal conditions. My neighbors were impressed and want to get one, but I don't think they will because they figure I'll just do their sidewalks. Here's some clips of the unit working on one battery. I use it mostly on eco mode, sometimes a little higher. This is turbo and it works really well. I felt like I was almost running to keep up with the unit. The battery, however, was at 15% after turbo. So back to eco mode here, and it's of course slower but it still does the job. I like that it's easy to maneuver in tight spaces like the side of my house. It's not massive, so you can do a small walkway. The second battery finally arrived before the second snow of the season. I put in both charged batteries. This is about 5 inches of wet snow, 18 degrees, windy, no sun, really bad conditions. It worked fine, cleared all the snow without any issues. There was a lot of snow on the wheels, so do stop and clean them off once in a while. If it's windy, go with the wind, otherwise you're going to get beaten with snow. It was pretty brutal. If the chute is moving or loose, you can tighten it by turning the inline cable adjuster clockwise. To loosen it, turn it counterclockwise. By the way, the two times I used the snowblower, the chute did not move, it stayed in place.
I stored the unit in the garage and found rust on the floor. So I just put a piece of cardboard underneath for now. I'm guessing the powder coat is failing and trapping the moisture underneath. It could be rocks or salt that promotes rust. There are some chips on the scraper bar. If this happens to you, you could try Rust-Oleum or something similar. This is a common problem with snowblowers. Make sure to clean your snowblower before putting it away. First, run the auger to get rid of excess snow. Shut the unit off and remove the batteries. Use the included tool to clean whatever snow is left. Clean the chute. I didn't go nuts and wipe it down, but you definitely can. There are instructions in the user manual to replace the scraper bar and wheels if you need to. Also, adjusting the height of the skid shoes and replacing the shear pin if it breaks. There are two extra shear pins stored on the chute, so you don't have to run out and buy them. How long the battery runs depends on how much snow and how heavy it is. I found that it lasts about 45 minutes, which is great for my needs. Most of the time I had the setting in the middle for the auger and drive. Basically, don't run it on turbo. Use eco and lower settings and you'll get a lot more battery life. The fuel gauge will show you how much battery power is left. Storage temperature is 50 to 80 degrees. Remove the batteries from the charger and store it. Don't leave it in the charger. Also, if you're storing it for longer than 30 days, store it below 80 degrees in a dry environment. They should have a 30 to 50% charge when storing. Every six months, charge it fully. There is a three year warranty on the battery. Hopefully it lasts longer than that because one battery is $350 and that's a lot of money. For gas snowblowers, you'll need gas, fuel stabilizer, oil, and spark plugs, which will cost maybe 35 to $40 total a year. But it's the time, labor, and inconvenience for those of you who really don't wanna do maintenance. After the battery price shock, let's move on to the positives and there are many. It is very easy to use, feels light, even for a petite woman like me. I have to tell you that I bought one of the best rated two-stage gas snow blowers first, but returned it and got this instead. Why? Because the gas blower was so heavy and I knew it would be really difficult to handle for me. I didn't even use it, I just took it back. Plus, it had a part missing, so I really couldn't even put it together completely. I love that there is no gas or oil with the Ego. Nothing to maintain, no oil and gas to store. It's easier to get started, just press a button and go. The Ego is much quieter than any gas snowblower. You saw that it did a good job on the soft powdery snow and the heavier wet snow. The turbo mode is incredible. I felt like I was almost running to keep up with the unit. But remember to use eco mode if you want the battery to last longer. I would only use turbo if you have really heavy snow and it feels like the unit is not chewing up the snow. The chute is adjustable and has enough height options. You can throw really high or really low. The controls are not hard to use. I do wish the press of a button would just make it go and throw snow instead of having two handles. Maybe I'm asking too much, but that would be easier. I love that my back doesn't hurt after using this. It's self-propelled and you don't have to put any effort into moving it. Bottom line, it's easy, manageable, quiet, and gets the job done without jamming up or stopping. After I finished clearing the snow, I saw my neighbor across the street with the single stage Ego. And it was actually working pretty well. It is less powerful than my two stage, but if you don't have a large space to clear and want something more affordable, the single stage might be a good option. I hope this video gave you everything you need to know about this two stage Ego snowblower. If you wanna get this snowblower, I will put a link right below this video. Sometimes it's available, sometimes it's out of stock. So I don't know if you'll actually be able to get one, but just keep checking and it will come in stock eventually. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.